everyone. Um, I thought I would come on really quickly. I don't have that much time, so I thought the best thing that I can do is show you a kind of selection of all the things that I've bought recently. I know all my videos are things that I've bought, um, but when I've got a bit more time, I will think of something more interesting and different to put up. But for now, I'm going to go through everything that I've bought from beauty stuff to shoes and clothes and accessories. So, yeah, and household things, kind of a mixture of both things, so I don't know what I'm going to name this video, but here goes. I'll start with these boots. I've actually worn them many, 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 many times. But I love them, and they're in line with the sort of stuff that I'm going to show you. Um, but these were from River Island, and I absolutely love these. They're really soft inside. It's like, I don't know what material it is, but they're so soft. Can't remember how much it, how much these were, but I will link as much as I can find down in the down bar, price wise, because I've got these all a little while ago, so I won't really remember what's what. So yeah, that's these. Yeah, I recommend these to anyone because I I live in these. All of my friends will know that I live in these. I love these so much. Then I did an actual online shop um, on Asos. And I bought four pairs of shoes. Um, this particular pair of shoes I wore um, last week. I went to a gig and saw my friend Louise Sitara, who was singing live at the time. And I wore these actually thinking they would be very comfortable because they're flats. But um, I think I tightened them too much because they caused blisters. But yeah. They are amazing. Also, again, from River Island, and these were £35, because the the um, tag's on the bottom still. But yeah, these are patent uh, sandals. No. Like, they're like the little jelly shoes, aren't they? But they're obviously patent, cut out, flat. I love these, size um, 7 in these, and I don't know actually whether I should have got a size 6, because they do feel a little bit big, but they're, yeah, they're cool. Okay, next up was a pair of, uh, they called them Dockland, Dockland plimsolls, I think, on Asos, leopard print. These are so comfortable. I've worn these to death already. Um, I only got them last week. They're in a size 6. Again, I can't remember how much the price was. I'll link them below. But, um, yes. That's great. I actually bought... Um, I won't show you that now. But I bought a pair of glasses that um, were sort of similar print. And I kind of was all, uh, was all in black with these and the glasses. And it yeah, looked quite, quite funky. These are said glasses. I think I got from Asos or Boohoo, I'll put them in the description. I bought these jelly uh, sandals, jelly shoes, they're flat and I, I'm wearing them with everything. I'm, I've been wearing them with this outfit today because um, I've got bright coloured nails and they peep through and I'm not looking at the white camera. Um, these are taking me back to my youth and they're so comfortable. These ones aren't rubbing at all. They kind of lie quite low on my ankle, so it's not, you know, it's not rubbing on any bone or anything. Um, yeah, and if they get dirty, you can just wash them. I'm going to wear them to the beach. Wear them with a bikini. I like them. My friend on YouTube called Shelly Nick, she takes the pee out of me because she thinks that they are rubbish. But I love them. Um, yeah, then they've got glitter in them as well, so double whammy there I like them and that's all that matters and some more jellies because I'm going jelly mad um, these ones have a heel these are white and the camera isn't focusing actually it's really difficult to show them up isn't it because it's white but yeah these will go with anything these will go with a nice bikini in the summer and and some shorts you know when when the sun's out I like these I'd probably wear them with, I've got my blue leggings, oh wow, my blue leggings on, could wear it with this, perhaps. But I don't like, I used to be quite crazy about coordinating everything, making sure, oh, this is white, so I must wear white shoes, but now I'm not so, I'm not so bothered, but um, yeah, these are cool. 
I like them. This is the stuff that I got from Hulu. So start with I'll oh, start with these actually. They're actually still in the pack. Open a few. I already wear, I've worn a pair to death and I needed to buy another pair that I wanted to keep for new or you know because I, I wear these for work because they're so comfortable but um quilted quilted leggings and they are so soft and nice these are amazing they're stretch nice and stretchy nice thick waistband um yeah waistband so yeah and I bought the I bought a size 12 and I had to buy a size 10 10 so yeah that's good shrinking I got this it looks like a jumper but it is a dress it's quite long it's quite thick but yeah I liked it um, again yeah that was boohoo that's just, I think this was a size 12 oh medium large so um, dolly large daisy knit bodycon dress from boohoo and I also got this I got this maxi skirt which is um, a size 10 in it's called Rosa large floral print maxi skirt grey because I liked it I thought it was summery as well it's quite long though you know you have a certain place that you want to put the waistband when you're wearing a skirt I felt like I wanted to bring it up higher because of the because of the bottom so I'd have to wear heels with it that's the only problem um, yeah and that is boohoo I think she looks around the room yeah that's boohoo that's the shoes last but not least I bought these are all a bit random, but these two, I went to Wilkinson's, which is near to us in where I live, and I saw, I've never really done any fake tan, the only fake tanning I've done is having a, a proper spray tan done in a shop, or I've used the sunbeds, which I don't recommend and I shouldn't really do it, but it, I don't like the fake tan, because I get really like dry skin, I seem to like shed my skin quickly so I find that you get those patches and it's all looks a bit orange and a bit like rank really quickly so I don't really usually tan but I saw this in Wilkinson's and I know it's not like a, a make you know like fake bake or the actual Saint Tropez stuff but I heard somebody talking about this this brand the other day um, with the mitt so I bought some. Should I use it or was this like craziness? Should I have just gone for the high quality stuff before trying this? Should I just try a patch of my leg or something that's not going to be seen to see if it works? Should I just go all out and do the whole thing? Or what do you think? I've got the mitt. I've got the... I'm guessing you could put your hand in it. And it's in medium. I have got a naturally olive type yellowy skin tone so yeah I can usually get away with getting a good um, having a good tan I don't know I'll see see how I go with that I bought this little container to put my ever-growing collection of real techniques brushes I've got loads now um, in here I thought I'd just show you that that was five pounds I think I don't can't remember how much the, I'll have to link everything and if I don't have the prices I'll just put I'm sorry I don't remember um but yeah I'll put the name of the shop you <laughs> hopefully you can find it but so yeah. Zach called me and sent me downstairs telling me it was like five to six and we have to be out and at his mum's by six because it's her birthday and we both realized looked up at the clock it's actually five o'clock not six o'clock so I'm back um not that I've left you but I'm back in terms of filming so the next thing I bought because in Boots, Revlon are doing a three for two on their products and as I mentioned in my last video, if you watched it, I'm obsessed with this, which is my favourite one of what I've tried so far of the Revlon, uh, Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm and I love it. This is elusive, I've shown you this before, oh, before. it looks really pink on the camera but it's not. Um, yeah, and so I went and bought three more. Um, I just tried to swatch them on myself 
for the purpose of the video and it really didn't come out very well so I'm not going to swatch them um, but I will sh maybe I'll swatch them on my hand but yeah the colour 230 which is complex is what I'm wearing now okay. I love it it's like a nude mm, nude lip I love it I love this and not many people have mentioned but it has like a menthol-y, minty taste and smell to it. Taste, I don't know about taste. Um, yeah, which I really like. I don't know if it's supposed to make your lips plump up a little bit. But um, yeah, so these two are my favourites at the moment. Because I'm liking the whole, I'm not really wearing a lipstick, but I am. But it's very subtle type vibe. Um, but this one, which is 250 stand out. It's just, for me, it's, well, it's nice, but it's like a red. Um, so it's kind of like a statement standout, yeah. Um, red, that's that one. For me, I don't know, it was all right, but this, I preferred this red. It was more of a, it's more of a pinky red, still red, and that colour is, striking and I liked that one better than I liked this one but they all have their time to shine won't they um I actually ordered this one by accident that first one stand out by accident I wanted to get the sultry one I think it's called sultry because it looked so nice it was like um maybe a shade darker than the elusive which I really like and it's still really subtle but it's got more of a purpley I just loved it um, the next shop I went into today was accessory, uh, Claire's Accessories and um, I haven't been in there for years because I always think oh it's for the kids and stuff so I didn't bother but I did go in today because I thought oh I'm going to try it out and what I bought for £8 was these and I love them. There was, I've been trying to get white sunglasses for a while. Sorry if this is putting you off. Um, but they, they're always really thick or I've never found the aviator style glasses like this. Um, and I love them. So I bought them. They're eight pounds. Claire's accessories. Boom. And then I bought a selection of rings. This was five pounds. So you'd wear it like so like so that's five pounds I bought this one which was I don't know 450 and this was but they're both 450 this is oh god I need to get a camera people this is yeah and I've put it onto my thumb that's a thumb ring it's quite thick and I like thumb rings. And then this one's just a little pretty like bow type that I've been wearing on my finger there. Yeah, so that was those. I don't think I bought anything else. I think that was it. That's it. That was my haul of everything video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And oh, this top. I think I put in, in my last Primark video and yeah I love it I've been actually wearing it today with my with my like it's not an anorak but my jacket do you know what do you know where I got this from I'm not even going to pretend I bought this from like Asda or Tesco or something like that I'm wearing it with this Chuck the sunnies on, not that there's any sun. But yeah, little bag, it's quite. I like it anyway. Don't care either, I like it. What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, I'm rambling. This concludes my haul. I hope you're all well. I'm glad we didn't get interrupted by cats. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye!